Nin explains the rules of floorball. The object of the game is to score more goals than the other team. Floorball, sometimes referred to as unihockey, salibandy, or inner bandy, is a popular version of hockey in Europe and Asia. Teams consist of five outfield players and a goalkeeper. The stick resembles an ice hockey stick, and the ball is a perforated ball made of plastic. You are eligible to use both sides of the stick to pass and shoot the ball. The floor is generally a maximum of 40 meters by 20 meters, with goals 160 centimeters wide and 115 centimeters high. The game starts with a face-off. Once a team has possession of the ball, they will try and shoot the ball into the goal. To move the ball, you can pass the ball to its teammates, or run and control the ball with both sides of the stick. The defending team will try and take the ball away from you. Just like field hockey, they are allowed to make light contact with the ball carrier, but ice hockey style checking is not allowed. Also, a player cannot lift the stick of another player. Unique to floorball, when playing the ball, the blade of the stick must not be played above waist height, and the ball must not be played above knee height. Similar to bandy, the goalkeeper does not have a stick. He is the only player who is eligible to catch and throw the ball, but must not handle the ball outside his own goal area. Once a team scores a goal, the ball is then faced off at the centre spot, and the process starts all over again. The game is played in three 20-minute periods, for a total playing time of 60 minutes. Junior matches are played in three 15-minute periods. Highest score at the end of time wins. That's basically the gist of it, but there's a few other things that you need to know before playing or watching floorball. For example, substitution. A team can substitute as many players as they like and at any time. To do this, the player coming off must be out of the substitution area first before a new player can come on. The goalkeeper can also be substituted for an attacking player, but this leaves the goal undefended. Free hit. If you break one of the rules that regards to the stick, or if a ball is deemed unplayable, a free hit may be awarded. The non-offending team can take a free hit from the spot of the foul. Penalties. If you break one of the rules, a penalty may be awarded. Just like ice hockey, the penalized player must serve time in the penalty seat and the offending team is required to play shorthanded for a specific amount of time. Minor infractions, such as these, incur a two-minute penalty, and major infractions incur a five-minute penalty. All penalties must be served in full, so the offending team must play shorthanded until the time of the penalty expires. Timeout. Each team is allowed one 30-second timeout to take a break or discuss strategy. Timeouts are usually used towards the end of the game. Extra time. If scores are tied after regulation time, an additional 10 minute period will be played to determine the winner. The team that scores the next goal first wins. Penalty shootout. If scores are still tied after extra time, a penalty shootout may be used to determine the winner. Just like ice hockey, field hockey and bandy, a player can move the ball towards the goal and try and score one on one against the goalkeeper. The best of five shots per team wins the contest. It might be helpful to check out my other videos on the other versions of hockey to get a solid grounding of the rules and to understand the differences between the sports. If you have found this video at all helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. Follow me on Twitter also, but in the meantime, enjoy floorball.